Well, come on in. Gather around. Sit yourselves down. I'm going to tell you all a little story about as old as I can remember. Many years ago, there's a little gal. Her name was Chloe. She was a happy little lady, smiling and jolly. And always in her hands was the secret to her happiness. She never let it go, carried it everywhere she went. That piece of terry cloth was her reason for being. Now Chloe had an older brother named Claude. He was a mean sucker with a nasty streak that ran right down to the bone. As the years passed, Claude grew downright resentful of Chloe with her annoyingly cheerful disposition. He was so jealous of his happy-go-lucky sister that he did the meanest, sneakiest, crummiest thing he could. He stole her happiness right out of her clutches. Chloe was devastated. She was helpless. Her very soul was empty and desolate. Couldn't eat. Couldn't sleep. Hell, she couldn't even make wee-wee without holding on to that thing. She tried to get it back. Oh, she tried to get it back. But Claude was bigger than she was and a heck of a lot stronger. But nothing worked until one day it came to her, clear as a Rocky Mountain morning, exactly what she had to do. She learned the ancient moves, the secret lore, building skill and confidence until every cell in her brain was rewired for one purpose and one purpose only. In early springtime, the momentous day arrived. Chloe, smug as a flea on a warm dog, stood there and said, I believe anyone can change. That's why I'm giving you one chance to return what belongs to me and me alone. Though none of them actually saw it, the town folk still claim they was able to hear that monumental struggle from miles away. Focused in all her training and hatred, she prepared for the final blow. I believe anyone can change, but not Claude Green. I mean, come on! I don't care what kind of rock'em sock'em karate tai chi tiddlywink stuff she had. I sure wasn't going to let her have it back. It's my damn blankie. It's my damn blankie. <laughs>